they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear the pool. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to Talk of the Town. And today, we got a very special guest in the building. Let them know who's here. Rod G's here, man. Yes, Rod. I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome to Talk of the Town. So before we get started, we're going to do a quick round of rapid fire. I'm sure you know how it goes. First thing that comes to mind when I ask you a question, right? Okay. Uh, favorite color? Blue. Least favorite food? Um, oh, no, I don't like ketchup. Anything with ketchup. Okay. Is it a tomato thing or just a ketchup thing? Yeah, fuck tomatoes. Too. I don't like tomatoes either, but I like pizza. You like pizza? Yeah, I like pizza, though. Okay, period. Um, one word to describe life right now. Surprising. Last person that made you laugh? Um, Lee. If you had to pick three celeb roommates, who would they be? Three what? Three celebrity roommates. Roommates? Mm-hmm. Um, my man's Lee. My man is a celebrity. Lotto. Period. Big up your friends. And, um, and Drake. That's an interesting combo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which friend wouldn't you let date your daughter? Which friend I wouldn't? Mm-hmm. None of them. None of them. You wouldn't oh, let any of them out? date your daughter? No, none of them. What about, and we're hypothetically speaking, of course. Okay. Okay. And what about your son? My son, oh, like female friend? Mm -hmm. No, none of them. Damn, so you none just, of you, none you know of them are it, like quality, upstanding. You know what it is? Everybody got a fucked up side, and I know they fucked up side, so I just can't let it go. It's going to have to be somebody I don't know. Yeah, but if everybody got a fucked up side, then you just got to be with the person that got the, like, the least. That's why I can't pick. <laughs> My son got picked the fucked up side. He's like a cheated on. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Girls so you not, be with the dogs. That's what, that's what the you're dogs telling be me. with me. <laughs> Um, music or streaming? Streaming. Favorite show growing up? Um, the regular show. Favorite cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't eat cereal though. Okay. Favorite one hit wonder? One hit wonder. Well, like a rapper? Mm -hmm. Well, it could be a singer, rapper. Whatever. A singer, rapper. Give me some. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> who is the one hit wonder? I don't know. I wanted to hear what you had to say. Um. Chingy is not a one hit wonder. Chingy got bobs. No shade. Hot. Shout out see. to Chingy. Probably just somebody I don't care Maybe about. Maybe like Chameleon Air. I think see, that's I don't even know who the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out Chameleon. to Chameleon Air. <laughs> I probably know the song. I'm a song boy. Um, the last song that you listened to? Last song I listened to. My song, Undeniably Me, just dropped my album. But which song on the album? Um... There's a song with me and Lay. It's called Philly Twins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I ate that. I like that song. Yeah, okay. And rate your day so far on a scale from one to ten. Six. I, I was tired. I was okay. just asleep everywhere. Okay. Hopefully, we can boost yeah, that up no, a couple I'm notches. Up. I'm up now. All right. Period. So, before we get into it, I really just want to just give you your flowers real quick because I feel like you have a lot going on. Congratulations on your house. Thank you. Buying a house at such a young age is really, really a big deal. And so, I love seeing, like, the young people winning and doing their thing. You also wear a lot of hats. So, mm -hmm. I'm really interested to, like, talk to you about that because I me. know you have, like, the boxing, football, mm -hmm. the streaming, directing. Mm -hmm. I know some people talking about animation. Like, you really got a whole lot going on. So, I'm really, really in. excited to get to know you. Okay. Um, so, let's get into, like, early on. Like, what was the first, like, passion decision that you decided to, like, go for? What was the first thing that you got into? Um, dancing. I'm a dancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. For how long? What age was that? Uh, that was probably 15. I've been dancing since I was 15. Wait. So, before that, you didn't have any, like, hobbies or anything like that? A drawling, yeah. I was drawling, like, searching up how to draw stuff. And oh, then, I'm like, you were doing what? Yeah, like, just drawing pictures and stuff. That's how I know how to draw, like, to get into the animation. Mm -hmm. And then people used to be like, you couldn't do that without tracing it. So I said, what? Watch this. And I used to go <laughs> practice how to draw it without tracing it. And mm -hmm. then I just got so good at drawing. But then I got into dancing. I think it's so funny that you say draw. Draw. <laughs> like, instead of draw. Because, like, to us, uh, well, I know to me, like, a draw is like an accent, and uh -huh. you have a draw when you say draw. It sounds like an accent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My fault. Um, but I think it's cool that, um, what's it called? You started drawing because you did your own, like, animation for your stream, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's dope. Um, so at what point did you decide to actually make something out of your passion, whether it was, like, drawing or it was dancing? It seemed like whenever I feel like, um, somebody in my space 
is like better than me at something, I want to indulge into it more. So like when I was dancing, drawing, whatever it is, I'm like, yo, you tough. I'm mm-hmm. going to get there. So that's why I make sure like I'm never the best in the room. So once I conquer that, I kind of just move on to the next thing. And when I'm continuing on with life, it just come up like, oh, I need this skill real quick. Oh, I know how to draw. I know how to edit, know how to make music, know how to mix, know mm-hmm. how to make beats and just come up. I love that. So who was dancing better than you that you was trying to like? Everybody. I was shit. In Philly. Yeah. And when I was in high school, I was 10th grade, and I started off doing hip hop. It wasn't even no hips, no Jersey Club, none of that. It mm-hmm. was just hip hop, and I was shit and uncoordinated. And they all was better than me. <laughs> so I got I got better than them. And then I messed up girl that did ballet. I did ballet. Then I started okay, doing crumping. traditional training. Yeah, no, I, did, I did everything. I do crumping. Then I did Jersey Club. Then it was just like everything. Why don't we ever see any of that? Like, I feel like obviously you do the hips, but you don't really do choreo. But I feel like in here and now you could really bust a When it's bust useful. A I told you when it's in. useful. Like, if a nigga like, yo, bust a move, I'm going to bust a move. Because when I see you, like, even in the video, I saw you in lay battling. Y'all was doing hips. Uh-huh. I don't be seeing no videos of you, like, in the club just dancing. Hips do you dance give, like, no, nah, I'm, I'm dancing. I don't want to be that bull dancing in the club. But you, you know, do. You know, niggas. You be doing hip style. No, that's because, though, that's my that's shit, though. Known, like, it's like, oh, all right, they're going to turn my song on. All right. Hit a little one, too. <laughs> I'm going to hit it. All right. Hit the dance. But if they ain't turn the song on, but like, yeah, I'm going to just chill. So you just be hugging the wall, chilling? No, I don't hug the wall, though. I, I like I like being the center of attention. That's why I like my job, because mm-hmm. it's like my job is to be noticed, and I like being noticed. You smoke hookah? No, I don't. I don't. Do you have, like, do you not because you have an opinion on it or you just don't like it? I just did it once. Like, a lot of people around me don't smoke hookah, so I just, it don't be around. Okay. Sorry, I get really distracted really easily. No, that you, wasn't the You comp- fuck with the hookah? Yeah, I do fuck with the hookah. I, I mean, I I'm did a it once. I'm a girl, love 66, blue mist. Those are my things. What's, what's the, um, but <laughs> what's the, um, like, what's the, what's the shit with the hookah like? It's just a vibe. Like, I feel like it also, like, boosts, like, when you're drinking, mm-hmm. you just kind of feel it a little bit more. And it's just, like, just looking cute with the hookah, blowing okay. out the smoke, taking your video. So is that only which, for the girls? Or? No. And that's what I was going to say, which is, like, well, I kind of understand, like, why niggas be saying what they do about, like, niggas in the club smoking hookah. But I feel like, you know, they could be posted smoking in hookah, too. Especially if you can't smoke <laughs> You just try to make it masculine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I personally, I'm one of those people, like, I I don't think anything is like gay mm-hmm. unless like you're literally a man with a man. Nah, so yeah. like smoking hookah to me is not like a gay thing. It's just like we all want to be lit. Like okay. you want to boost your drink, your drunkness the same way that I do. I feel that. Um, but back to you growing up in Philly, like what was that? Like you was born and raised there? Yes. Okay. Was there like a certain did you grow up with the people that you cool with now? No. No. Mm-mm. Okay. So let me know like how you were growing up, like, what that was like, and mm-hmm. then when you came into, like, contact with the people that you cool with now. Yeah, so growing up, um, I'm real family-oriented, so I just was, like, with my family. But after my mom passed, I just was, like, real cool off my family. Mm-hmm. And then since I moved away from my family, all my friends, I just was, like, you mean? I just, I just took a step from them, and it's hard to kind of – I'm not the boy that's going to force myself to be in contact if, you know, we don't mm-hmm. need to be in contact. I'm in high school in another whole part of the city, so mm-hmm. I just was like, all right, we're going to stay in contact, you feel me? But definitely, if time passed, I don't know y'all niggas no more. We got to re-meet. Right. No, we can't link. But, um, you know, and then it just became, like, just new friends. And then it's the same cycle, too. So after I get out of high school, all right, these are my friends. But now I'm never coming back to this school. Right, so, right. You feel me? I just, I don't know, and I don't like staying in the same spot. So uh, once I start getting into the things I got into, first dancing, Mm -hmm. you feel me, I met some of my friends that I'm cool with now, and then as I gained those skills, you know, yeah. And then as far as um, the people I'm with now, like my friends that rap and dance and stuff like Mm -hmm. that, I told you I I never stopped dancing. I think that's one of my, that's top three hobbies I got. So when dancing... Every, like, two years, Philly make up a new dance and get popular for it. Like, they dance, they ass off. But um, I know how to dance, and I'm like, oh, all right. I'm going to show I'm gonna show that I know how to dance. Like, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a reason to dance. So when there's a reason, I'm going to do it. So I was just turning up on the top, blowing up. And then, you know, he the hottest, he the hottest, right. just like that. So yeah, we, like that. We, we link up, and we became friends with everybody. Then I started rapping. 
And I was always doing YouTube, though, always. When I was dancing, I was doing YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. before I was drawing, I did YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since 2015. Okay, you not new to this. You really? Sh I didn't realize that it was that long that you've been doing. doing yeah, YouTube. it was on and off. Like when I first started, cause I'd be like, I ain't get no views. Like you know, like when you first start something, you'd be crying. Like yo, it's not. Why yeah. not me? Yeah. Like, I used to be like, damn, I'm trying. It's not working. But then um, I actually started doing it cause I love it. Mm -hmm. And I had a little 500 concurrent. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm just, you know, appeal to my 500. And then, you know, that's why I definitely understand when people like yo you gotta love it yeah because you gotta do it without expecting nothing and, and i feel like you I see the on. difference in the quality sorry not no, you but i feel like you see the difference in the quality of it too like when people are doing stuff just to generate views and yeah, like an audience ass. versus when they're doing it and they let the views organically come and i feel like that's something i've also noticed about like your content even when you like talk on your stream like you'll be telling a story and i thought it was so funny when you were um talking about um i don't remember what it was you were talking about but you were telling a story and mm -hmm. then you were like oh yeah youtube is gonna be so mad we sit here talking about hats but like we like and it was like but that's that's organically how a conversation is you might be talking about one thing and then you get off topic um so i think it definitely shows in your content that you love what you do so For sure. that's dope that you were able to create a scenario where you linked up with people doing what you were doing dancing but now it kind of seems like everybody's kind of transitioning into the same spaces when it comes to content creation mm -hmm. And making music, so even a situation like Lay, excuse mm -hmm. me, where she was dancing too, now mm -hmm. she's also making music, and now y'all still collabing together. So I think that's what she's been doing music longer than me. She's yeah. been doing music since she was like nine. Yeah, so Lay been doing her thing. She been singing. We had her here not too long ago. We need to have her back, but she's definitely been doing her thing. Shout out to Lay. It's my dog. Um, so I know you said you've been doing YouTube since 2015. Where did you really like gain most of your supporters? Like, where did they come from? When I was dancing, I was kicking niggas' asses. So like, I, literally, <laughs> like or dance better. battling. Oh, I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> he was fighting and, like, dance was battling niggas for money. Like I was winning like 500 per battle. I used oh, to really? practice. Like, yo, this the move. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna kill this nigga. We was on some <laughs> step it up shit. Wait, so what was y'all moves? Like we had dances in mm -hmm. New York, but like, what what kind of moves was you doing that you just knew was gonna be the one? It's just like dancing is like. I don't want to break down dance. I mean, I'm a, I'm a dancer. I've been dancing since I was three. So, like, okay. I definitely, like, know. But I'm, I'm saying, like, for us, like, we had, like, Bronx wine in. We uh -huh. have getting light. We have, like, different dances uh -huh. that, like, people would just, like, get together and battle each other in doing. Uh -huh. So, that's what I was saying, like. Well, the, the stage I was in, it wasn't one of the um, traditional dances. It was Jersey Club. So. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was just, like, it you was like, up your own little combos. Yeah, I'm going to do my own combos. But it was like, oh, you really want to be good? Step outside of Jersey Club, and that's when I got the ballet. You do the ballet. I'm like, yo, add a ballet turn. Add a little cook. pirouette you in there. You feel me? Oh, then mm -hmm. I learned how to flip. I'm like, oh, I'm flipping on nigga. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> I'm like, yo, whatever I got to do to win, I'm going to do it. And then I gained my own following. I had like six, 7,000 followers just off dancing. Oh, that's dope. So then did that translate over to the like, YouTube? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I had like 200 subscribers from 2015 to like 2018. Okay. So then what made you decide to start streaming? Streaming, um, I was on TikTok Live mm -hmm. when I was in my skits era. And then one of the people that kept coming back to support me was like, yo, bro, you should stream. This is just like streaming. So I just did it. Okay. And yeah. obviously, you like it. You yeah, I'm like, bro. And you've been collabing with like a lot of people on your streams. You've been bringing a lot of people on. So it seems mm -hmm. like it's, it's going really, really well. And mm -hmm. I like that you also incorporate the content that you make into your streams. I got to. So like the 20 B ones, for example. Mm -hmm. I know you did one with E. Kane. You oh, yeah, did one shout with Meatball. E. Shout out to E. Kane. Shout out to Meatball. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you feel about 20 B ones in general? Uh, they just play it out. But you definitely can't go against like one thing with like streaming and YouTube mm -hmm. is not about what you like, it's about what's in. So mm. I just did it just because I'm like, I'm going to make it funny. I'm right. But I don't like them jams. You don't like them. I think that what you do, though, is a little bit different. Correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't like watched the whole thing of all of them. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Sometimes twenty the traditional 20 v ones give me like auction, like stand up, turn around, let me see you. Yeah, and I think like that. in the way that you do it, it's more like conversational. It's entertaining. It's funny because yeah. it's like you get to see people for like who they are. But then it's also like if I don't like the conversation that we have, and then it's clip next next call up. Yeah, I, I definitely think that's the better way because it'd be like 
they be laughing at awkward shit. I be like, yo, this is awkward. Yeah. Like, I, especially because I know I film videos. So I'm like, yo, if this music wasn't here, mm -hmm. they just stand in there looking at each other. <laughs> I can't deal with the awkwardness. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, I'm doing. So, I don't know. Something I think that's also interesting that you just said was you have to do what people want to see and yeah. not necessarily always what you want to do. Yeah, not always. Um, Now, that brings me to something that a conversation that's happening right now is like the content creator versus the influencers. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like that to me just says that content creators are technically influencers in a way if you're influencing other content creators to make content. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Yes. So, do you think that you started any like that you influenced any type of like trends online yet or yeah yeah like what for sure i i think um there's a lot of dance moves i made up mm -hmm. i think it's a lot of um i think the way i rap was got beat uh i think like a lot of stuff i do on stream these streamers be copying mm -hmm. just you know but i definitely don't not don't care, but I don't mind either or if anybody was like, you know, he's an influencer or a content creator, as long as I'm making my money for real. Okay, I hear that. Um, who are your favorite influencers and or content creators right now? Refresh me on the difference. Well, I personally <laughs> feel like a content... I think they can live in the same space because uh -huh. I feel like even with content creators who get brand deals, people give them brand deals to influence other people to buy the stuff that they're promoting. So, like, I personally feel like there's a blurred line mm -hmm. between them. I just put them together just to see what you was going to say. Okay. Um, I guess maybe, like, an influencer more traditionally would be somebody who's doing, like, a get ready with me. These are the types of makeup that I'm using. But that's also still content. So, I'm not really sure. Okay. But, like, who do you watch? Who do you, whose content do you like? I used to watch and still continue to watch DDG. Mm hmm I fuck with DDG. And then, um, you know, I used to watch So Illuminati. That's about it. I don't watch anybody now. That was an era. Yeah. So, that I was, that's what started me. Yeah. yeah, so how do you feel about like where YouTube was versus like That's, where it's at right now? Because you said it was that way was better it. than yeah. that was it. That was YouTube. That was when like you could go on YouTube and lock in on a section of it. Now everybody is trying to do everything, mm -hmm. so it's no like it's no it's no creator to go to for one thing. So you could love them differently because they all try and do it. So everybody wants the attention on them, so they try to make you pick. Mm. And then it's just like spreading everything thin. Hmm. And then you, got, then you got to do the same thing because everybody trying to do everything. Mm -hmm. But it was good when it's like, all right, he vlog. He do challenges. You go to this girl page, she going to be doing this. Mm -hmm. Or oh, right, he's story time, boy, he do this. And now, you know, everything's so diverse. You can't fall in love with a creator. You just fall in love with content ideas. You think so? Mm -hmm. So you don't think people like genuinely fall in love with you for like who you are as a person outside of your content? Oh, no, me, yeah. But um, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> me, you, yeah. you, so you the exception. Just, just no, I'm not the exception, but it is harder. It's harder. It is harder. It's but harder. I think that also goes back to what we were talking about about just genuinely doing it because you want to do it yeah. and not because you just want to make content and want to make a bag. Like somebody could watch your vid, watch three of this. Yeah, I saw like four of your three times. They not subbed and they never watch me ever again after those four. It could be like shit like going on, like shit like that ain't going on. Mm -hmm. I used to see like him be like, oh no, I'm subbing, bro, tough. Yeah. You feel me? I used to lock in like, damn, I'm gonna keep watching, bro. They yeah. were dropping daily. It was just a whole different vibe. It's even like that on TikTok too. I always think it's so funny when people in the comments are like, I love seeing you come up on my For You page. And it's like, well, bitch, just follow me. <laughs> like, as opposed to like waiting for me they to come up you, again. Bro. It's like, but I think it's also just the accessibility of like, just what we have at our disposal. Like, I could find 50, 20 V1s, you know, watching you. it. And I don't have to subscribe to one person to see them. Told you. It's more so just based on like who comes up first or like who I like that's mm -hmm. on a 20 V1, you know? Yeah. Um, so... When it comes to, like, what you would consider yourself as, like, how, if somebody were to ask you, like, oh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. How, what would you say? I just tell them whatever I'm focused on right now. So, as mm -hmm. of 2024, I would just say streamer. But whatever somebody come up saying is fine, too. Like You're creative. Oh, like, you just yeah. do. Oh, like bro, I music. listen to your music. Or, oh, bro, uh, the TikToker. Or, oh, you, you made this song. Or, you made this dance. Or, mm -hmm. whatever it is, it's like, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, we can take the picture. Come on. The last time that I um, looked you up on TikTok, you had 26.4 million 
videos that people had made about you, whether it was like your content, your music, mm-hmm. like just what you had going on. Mm-hmm. What do you think is like the most interesting video that you've seen about yourself? If you if you watch what other people like I post about you. Don't unless like my manager send it to me, like because I really don't be having like I try to make time for TikTok mm-hmm. because I don't mind TikTok or hate TikTok. I actually like TikTok, but I don't be having time because I'd be like, I kind of choose two things. Like, all right, I'm gonna focus. Like right now, I'm focused on music. I'm focused on Twitch. Mm-hmm. As I'm done with this EP, all right, we're gonna go back to the YouTube main page. Going to start moving again. Right. All right, we get at a break. I'm gonna get on TikTok. So mm-hmm. I try to focus on two at a time, but. Um, I'm not on TikTok, so I don't be seeing it for real. But my favorite content of me on TikTok is my skits that I make. Okay. With, uh, yeah, with my team. Like, when we just trolling, making skits, mm-hmm. it's just so easy. Do you remember what your first viral video was? <sighs> on TikTok or period? In general. Um, Let's yeah. say YouTube, because it's a lot harder to go viral on, like, YouTube than it is YouTube, on TikTok these days. First viral video was viral with you. I don't know, because viral now is so different than what viral was back then. Like, a million views now really is, like, a million oh, views. Right, good shit, but bro. before, it was like, yo, I got <laughs> a million views. Niggas be on Ellen for a million views back in the day. So, yeah. like, I guess the first moment that you felt like you went viral, it could be, because it's relative at this point. Okay, so I think when I had first started YouTube, I didn't even hit 100K yet. And I had to did a story time in my mom's room. Um... And that joint, that was my first 100K I ever hit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, no, this is different. So I think, like, viral to me is when you break your next, like, ceiling. So 100K, not nothing. I could hit that if I really wanted to lock in 200K. I think now for me, like, all right, that joint hit over half a mil. You did something right. So, but first viral bit was, uh, I think I told a story on how I lost my virginity. That joint had, like, 300K. <laughs> but I had told it in my mom room. Her hat's hanging in the back. Oh, my God. Did she see that? <laughs> yeah, no, Did she, she know saw the story? It. Huh? Did she know the story already? They watch me. I don't know what my family think. They don't say nothing. Really? They just be like, I watched it. I don't, I don't okay, ask them so what, what they thought. Okay, so what did you think? Oh, you don't? Mm-mm. Oh, no, she good. I just say, oh, good shit. Oh, did really? Did you like it? Yeah. Do they support you, though? Like. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they support me, definitely. When it comes to, like, your family relationships with, like, I know, because now, like I said, like, you're, you bought a house, like, clearly the bag is coming in. Mm-hmm. Is that, <laughs> Does that, like, change the dynamic of your, like, family relationships at all? Like, do you have it people do. that have expectations? It do. Um, it's not like they have expectations, but it just changed how everybody act. Like, everybody in the, everybody just act different. They treat you different. And some is understandable. Some behavior is understandable. And some behavior is unacceptable. So how do you navigate that? I don't. That's up to them. Mm-hmm. Like, I kind of, whenever I'm feeling uncomfortable or I'm feeling, like, stressed, mm-hmm. if it's not coming from anything that got to do with my workflow, it doesn't concern me as an adult. After I turn 18, I don't have to answer to anybody. So it's a joint where it's like, you're stressing me out, bro. I'm going to tell you that. I want that for you because that gives me like you know how to set your boundaries oh for sure i won't text you back i'm a stream <laughs> <laughs> i'm a just stream bro <laughs> okay so let's get into the music though because you did just drop a project that was really really dope undeniably me yeah um talk to me about that um first of all how long did it take you to curate like all the songs that you wanted to put on this project probably like four or five months four or five oh months. wow that's not bad yeah no nah, i'm i'm not uh I ain't Lil Wayne or Drake. It ain't gonna take me two years, like, um, especially because it's like my first, my first um, project, and I got so much music. Like, I got over a thousand songs, and I'd be making like music behind the scenes a lot with my friends. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't already tried a lot of shit. So this was my first time putting out something, um, but not even my first time. Damn, this was like my second time putting out something that's not club, and I'm like, all right. I'm about to just put that shit out, especially because music is like a, it's a hobby for me. Mm-hmm. I do it to get away from my other stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, I just do it for fun so it don't hurt me. Like a lot of rappers, that's all they got. Mm-hmm. So if it do bad, it do good. They stressing. Mm-hmm. I don't stress. So 
That's a flex. Because it's, it's it's a solid project. So yeah. it's, it don't even... I feel like sometimes you can hear certain things and it's like, yo, you really just put this... Like, mm -hmm. You threw this shit together. Bullshit. Like, you really didn't care. But I feel like with you, even when it comes to the features, it's like the people that you actually like fuck with. So, yeah. I mean, like, it, to me, it's a solid project. Does anybody tell you that you sound like anybody? Bro, I heard like six names. I heard Lil TJ, I heard A Boogie, I heard PB Rock, I heard Meek Mill, I heard Brad Gritta, and I heard um somebody else. I heard okay. every name. Okay, I'm glad because I was gonna say I felt like people were gonna think I'm crazy and thinking that you sound like A Boogie. <laughs> And at first, it, so first I listened to it and I'm like, yo, he really, like, he's giving me A Boogie vibes. And I was like, specifically, it was like Popular Loner mm -hmm. and, um, what is it, what, G Talk? G Talk. G Talk, okay. I didn't want to say it wrong. G Talk. And I was like, okay, these are giving me A Boogie. <laughs> and then as I'm listening, I'm like, okay, this is the one. I'm like, wait, no, this is not the one. This is another one. You really, like, you give me that vibe. So I'm glad, so. like, to I hear think, I'm not the only one. I think prime, like, music, like, I don't really bump too many artists just like time be my biggest thing so i don't bump too many artists i probably bump drake core mm. myself and my friends if i'm tired of listening to my own music i bump some drake or some core but um when i really used to listen to music is it was during that pnb rock a boogie era when mm. they was wilding that's when okay. i was bumping music every single day i'm like no nah, this shit is hot so I'm probably Okay, rest in peace to B and B. But that's, that's it. I dog. definitely I could hear the influence. Do you listen to New York artists? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw on the radar you hopped on Kenzo B's BFFR beat. I actually found that Joan on um just found it on YouTube. Oh. And I didn't know it was hers until I tried to post it and they like, Yeah, copyright from Kenzo B. Mm. I'm like, what the fuck? Did you know who that was? Before? Yeah, no, I know who okay, she okay. is, but I just I d I didn't know she did the song. Mm -hmm. So that was just salty. I'm like, oh shit. So I just put it on the radar. Okay, I was wondering why it wasn't like on like. No, nah, yeah, they start talking. Okay. Some, soon the label shit start talking. I'm like, yeah, I don't do this. Do you run into that at all? Cause you a have lot. like some samples and some of you, you run into that. Yeah, cause a lot of my friends are signed, but I really I try to stay away from samples. Like if it's Jersey Club mainly, I'm just doing that just mm -hmm. for fun. So go ahead, you feel me? Like I don't do music for money, so that's why I think it blows up often. Okay, so. On the project, you do have a song that I felt like it was a little, a little messy, but I understand. Mm -hmm. um, fuck OT Seven, right? Um, that <laughs> you made with Too Rare and Brock. Yeah, yeah. Um, would you consider that to be like a diss track, like, or was it just titled that because it's just like? No, nah, that's just y'all know I was what's feeling. going on. Yeah, that was just how I was feeling. So, how did Too Rare and Brock get into it? Um, you said Too Rare and who? Brock. Mm -hmm. That's who was on it, right? Yeah, Too okay. Rare and Brock. Mm -hmm. Um. I was in the studio and we was listening to our song. We was listening to the songs I was going to drop because I kept switching the order. So I had initially, I made 61 songs. Um, Jeez. Because I just, I took a month off um, of everything and I just was like strictly YouTube because that's easier for me to coast. That's what I'm most familiar with, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I could cook YouTube all day. Mm -hmm. So I was cooking YouTube so I could take a break and just make music. And I was just living. I feel like it's cool to live sometimes just so you can have stuff to talk about, rap about, and then you don't feel like you're draining yourself. So I was just living, I was in LA for a month straight, and I was just making songs every day. And I was just picking situations. Cause I don't, I don't vent to nobody or talk, cause I feel like it's gossiping. So I just put in a song. Wait, you don't talk to anybody cause you feel like it's gossiping, but you'll put it in a song? I put it in a song, cause I'm not saying no names. So whoever you think is about, if I'm not being as direct as fuck OT7, then you don't know. But I feel like if it's your experience, that's not gossip. That's you speaking your truth. No, no, no. I don't feel like it's gossiping when it's in a song. That's why I do it that way. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Because I'm not, I'm not being, I feel like when you're being messy with it, then it turns into gossip. Um, but conversations that you have on the back end about something that you're going through versus something that's literally as deliberate as fuck these niggas <laughs> is like you know it's, it's, but i understand though based on the situation yeah that's how i get that's how i get my shit off just oh uh, uh, i'm gonna throw it in a song so each song besides probably like drop a pen was just about something mm -hmm. you know just so like, how you feeling on that situation now though um it's really like i think a lot of people think i care but i don't and i thought i showed that enough but i didn't I didn't show enough that I don't give a fuck about the situation because my thing was, my thing was, 
give it back or I'm going to make it back. So mm-hmm. when I made it back, everybody like, oh, he dragging it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. We don't talk about, I stream every day besides Thursday. We don't talk about you, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, so when the internet want to pick it up and, you know, be messy, I'm not stopping them. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go laugh in the comments. I'm going to say fuck him again because that's how I feel. But I'm definitely not going to drag it. Yeah, I mean, because at the end of the day, like, no shade, but he he played in your face. And I don't even think it's people. Well, I could speak for myself. For me, it's not even as much as thinking that you care about it still as much as it's just like, this nigga really played. Like, mm-hmm. it, like it was wrong. <laughs> like, wrong is wrong. So yeah. to hear you talk about it, you're speaking your experience. Like I said, if you're mm-hmm. talking about something you actually went through, I don't consider it to be gossip. So, um... Moving from that situation, though, do you feel like you look at collabs differently? Like, are you more, like, guarded with who? No? No, nah, I don't look at collabs differently. Only okay. thing, only thing, only thing I, uh, if you ask me what I took from it, like, my, my reflection, it mm-hmm. probably would just be, like, um, just probably throw niggas in contracts. That's it. Just a simple takeaway. Like, 3K wasn't an even a major loss for us. Yeah. It wasn't even a make or break. It was just a, I'm supposed to go just chill about it behind right. the scenes. Right. That's, I feel like that's the bitch move. Like, you feel me? Just to be like, damn, that happened. Nobody know. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine that just came out later. Like, yeah, yeah, we, t- we, we took that. You want to know what's crazy? Like, what? When I heard about the f- you and OT7 Kwani, I thought that the problem was that he was putting you in a basement in a and b and I thought that was wrong. Uh, I was like, yeah, and that's all I can, I was like, yeah, he tried to put him in a basement, and like, why would he do that? He came out there. I didn't even know dangerous. that there was more to the story. No, I wasn't even in no basement. Anybody who know, no, I wasn't in no he basement. He was like, yeah, you could go in a basement, or you could go in a pool. I said, whoa. No, nah, so <laughs> like, my, my, I think my content more is like, Testing people who shouldn't be testing it, tested mm-hmm. and popping it, and just that third. That's why I even walked in the room like, yeah, I'm gonna. You put your rum. stuff down. Yeah, uh-huh. just trolling. Like that's just me having fun. Just like, yo, my my niggas gonna love this. Like mm-hmm. just because I'm trolling. But no, nah, I went back to my hotel, Uber that night. Okay. Right back to my hotel. Because that was what I was upset about until I saw the rest, and I was like, wow, this is deeper than what I thought. Yeah, it was never. It was never. It was about very layered that. though, because even I think you 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 gave him a lot of inches, pause. Like you gave him, and he took miles, on mm-hmm. miles, on miles, on miles. Yeah, no, he took. Yeah, miles. but um, I know you said three of the amount that you paid him wasn't a lot. What's the most that you paid somebody for content? That was the only time I paid for content. That was the only time you paid for content. Mm-hmm. Bad you, first bad experience. That's crazy. First bad experience. Because I don't collab with uh, rappers. I collab with content creators. So it's easier to say, bro, let's lock in. Mm-hmm. And we just lock in. I, I, I never pay nobody. Uh, and if I got to pay you, then I'm not on the right level yet. Because mm-hmm. if I was bigger, you'd do it for free. Right. So I'm going to see you later. That's how I look at it with content. But with rappers, I'm like, you don't do what I do. And I'm asking you to take your day, you know, and let me into it. So I'm cool with paying. Mm. Um, it's never nothing. You know, if we got it and that we agree, it's cool. So we just agreed and it just ain't go well. So okay. And like, who was like a rapper that you would want to collab, that you would be willing to pay for to collab with? Willing to pay for? That's a lot of people, a lot of rappers I want to collab with. I'm going to just go down that road a little later. I want I want to do some shit with Rob for now. I want to do some shit with Skilla. I want to do some shit with um, Drake. I want to do some shit with... Sexy Bread, I want to do some <laughs> shit with Lotto. I want to do some shit with, um, I don't know. That's off the top of my head. I want to mm-hmm. do some shit with them, though. And I wouldn't mind paying if I got it. Mm-hmm. If I ain't got it, no, though. Um, and just to real quick backpedal a little bit, because we were talking about, you know, your situation. Mm-hmm. Um, another situation that I know of that you had not too long ago was with the Philly niggas. Mm-hmm. Um, where do you stand with that, with Two Humpy and Philly Goats and all of that? Where do y'all stand? I don't stand with them niggas, but they they doing their thing. And I think the thing with me be after I turn up or, like, I wild out on somebody, mm-hmm. I'm not beefing with you, bro. Take too much energy. So after everything, I'm like, yeah, I'm not beefing with y'all niggas. So it just end up being a joint where it's like, oh, all right, niggas cool again. And then we both know I feel... You know, we could work with each other, but when we, when I work with them, it's like a we respect each other a little bit more, and it's a joint where it's like we're going to make sure we don't cross that line again. Like, just on both sides, I feel that. Um, but I definitely fuck with the Philly Goats. Nate Thurl, I ain't going to lie. 
and then f- with the two humpy niggas, um, I don't talk with them. But I, I'm not, again, I'm not beefing with them niggas. But I won't go back with them niggas. They done. Yeah, they done. The two humpy niggas. Mm-hmm. Can I ask why? Why they done? Um, I think it's more of like. I think it's more of like a disrespect zone. I think it's a zone where it's like, all right, with the goats, we wasn't cool over some, it was some gossip shit. Like, it was just some misunderstanding shit. It's not, it's not a misunderstanding with the two humpy niggas. I know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure what happened. Mm. So it's just like, nah, just why? Why okay. would I go back? I understand that. And I mean, you know, niggas grow apart. So yeah, it got, it got it's, make sense. It's like, really just like, why would we be cool again? Yeah, it don't even make sense. Okay, well, all right, but it, like ever. No, it's like I, I probably gotta watch you if we go. So why why are we gonna be cool again? I gotta yeah. watch you now. Damn, it's stressful. I don't even know what's T. You really good at like keeping your business because I don't I don't know if it's out there, but like I don't know the details of exactly what happened. What the two humpy shit? Mm-hmm. It was just a it was just a thing I think. Uh, to summarize, I think it was just a thing where like we all was getting big, and people forgot like we we got all of this together. Mm. So when they was getting like too big headed, it was like I don't need y'all, and we start leaving. Leave like we we was in management together, we was in everything together. People start leaving that, and like yeah, we still family, but fuck this person, and they saying fuck people that's vital to the whole movement, mm. you know, due to some selfish shit, so, and then we all just got different opinions, so I think it's just what happened with all groups, for real. Well, no shade, but looking at, you know, where everybody kind of is mm-hmm. now, I think that you made a very good, a very good uh, choice to stick to what you were doing, because obviously it's really working for you. Oh, for sure. Um, So. I ain't confused my shit with they shit. Yeah, no, you're, I feel like you are really, really going up, like, you doing your thing and everything, like I said, is very organic, so, they, they you. yeah, they can do what they're doing. Um, so now, I know we're going to be wrapping up soon, but I do want to play another game with you okay. based off of content that you've made. So, I know one thing that you do with your supporters is you have them, like, send you songs and you'll either send them $5 or they get banned. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to This game overall is called A Nod to Rod And mm-hmm. we're going to do $5 or band With songs that are popular right now Okay Okay Fisher for sure. $5 For sure Fart Ice Ice Oh band Okay by JT Pretty yeah, that motherfucker $5 That's that shit Period <laughs> um, <laughs> JT I Like Like What Like first you want to listen to two C. Oh, band. Um, Destiny. Destiny. By Brooklyn. Who? Frost. Nicole, excuse me. Brooklyn Nicole. Oh, Brooklyn Frost. Oh, mm. she make music? I didn't I don't know. Probably band. She do. Um, shout out to Brooklyn. Yeah, she was here not too long ago too. So shout out Brooklyn. We just did a uh, cooking jump together. Yeah, she should have played you some of her music. She did. I played Bro- her some of my music. Brooklyn, what you doing, girl? I thought you was yeah, taking it serious. I, I mean, what I got happened? a lot. You you band, so I hear it though. Damn, okay. I got to hear it. I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> it's good. It was like on TikTok for a little while too. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we can listen to it after. Okay. Um, Grippy by Cash Cobain and Jake. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dunk Contest <laughs> remix. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that song. They was overreacting. Yeah, if you, a lot of people were not really feeling it. Five dollars. Five dollars. Um, Two Humpy Anthem. Two Humpy Anthem. Good morning. That's a summer anthem. Five dollars. Ten dollars. Dog Talk. Dog Talk? By O.T. Sammy Hwani. Dog Talk. Which one? Which one? How'd that go? Sorry to that man. I really don't know. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no show to him. No show to him. Because I, I used to listen to him. I'm trying to think which one it is. Because I like some of them. I don't like all of them. And I'm not a hater. I'm going to say $5. Though. You know what? I appreciate that. Because that was me being a little messy. Because I, I I don't really listen to OC7 Kwani like that. That's that. your job. <laughs> That's your job. Um, That's your job. I really yeah. don't. But I did want to see what you were saying. No, and you are very mature for that. I think that's the that's a good job. Some um, of that shit ass. Some of that shit good. He like a 50-50 bull. Mm-hmm. That shit either really hot or really ass. What song was it that you had in your intro? Intro. Um, Pull up for the three. I won't miss it. I am not best. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Um, C4. C4, she... Oh, $20. Period. That's that shit. Yeah, they, Make they, sure y'all they get rare that. to a million. You hear me? Yes. Getting to a million. Shout out, man. C4. Get love, Rob. Um, and Glitch. Glitch. 
glitch. My song? Yep. Bam. I hate that song. That was an old song. It was. I did that. That's one of them joints you don't do for passion, you do for the views. Okay. <laughs> that's why I don't like it. Okay. It don't connect with me. It's just like a lot of streams. Okay. That's a real answer. Yeah. All right. Now, the other piece is um, there was something I saw online of you like talking about what kind of liquor you would pregame for with the ladies, like depending on the <laughs> lady. So I have some names for you. I want to know what liquor you use pregame. Okay. Lotto. Um... Dying. We got to get the 1942. Very. You feel me? We got to take it there. The That's my baby. Uh-huh. Uh, e. Kane. E. Kane. E. could get the Don. Jada. Calm little Don. The Jada? Don Reposado. Blanca. What, what? We got to be specific. Cause the it's, John. It's what's the John told you get? What's that John? Blanco. 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 Then we get both, though? What's the brown one? The, that's the Reposado. Reposado. Yeah, Reposado. Okay, here we I'm like, my girl a little better than a Blanco nah, now. Reposado. Okay, Jada. Jada Waiter. Waiter. I ain't big on Jada Waiter. Okay, so. You get a little Casa bottle. A Casa? Yeah. Blanco? Whatever she want. It's the same price. Is it, though? I don't think so. 64, 64, or 61, oh, shit, 60, 67. They, um, they be trying to wax. Who's counting? 60 something. Shout out to Jada. Um, mm -hmm. Lena. Lena what? Davis? Yeah. Um, shout out Lena. She get the dime. I fuck with Lena. Okay, so <laughs> why you smile like that? Cause I'm still on Jada getting a casa. That's crazy. I'm not big. On, I'm not big <laughs> but I on Jada. It's your preference. It's your preference. I'm not big um, on Jada. So Spencer. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not trying pregame with Zoe though. Like <laughs> Zoe could Zoe whatever Zoe want. We could go okay. half. It's just <laughs> we could go half. It. Yeah, go half. Grab a bottle. She gonna pregame with me. Okay, period. You feel me? That's the system. Yeah. Um, Flo Millie. Flo Millie, nah, nah, no pregame. No pregame? No pregame. Nadia, influencer. Nadia, no pregame. <laughs> no. No pregame at all. Nah, it's the no pregame at all. That's no pregame. <laughs> we could probably do some content. That shit gonna win. Okay. <laughs> she gonna what? That shit gonna win the content. Oh, we do some I was like, she gonna what? Um... <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Nadia. No, shout out Nadia. Though. Um, Cleo. Cleo what? Uh, influencer Cleo. What? What's her um? Cleo that be with, with AZ. That I, oh. Yeah, Cleo. she was on your stream. Wasn't yeah, yeah, she? yeah. I stream with AZ. Um, Cleo. Shout out Cleo, man. Whatever Cleo, I fuck with Cleo. Okay, whatever yeah. Cleo want on your bracelet till the shit. Yeah, Glorilla. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. no, I ain't fucking with Glow. Okay. I could pregame with Glow too, though. Do you have a type? I just like girls that's pretty in the face. That's okay. it. I don't care about none. The body don't matter. Pretty, no. Pretty just gotta be pretty in the face. Okay. Are you like dating in a relationship? Oh, yeah. yeah. By the way, that was the end of our game. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was the end of the game? Yeah, I'm dating. Oh, <laughs> you're dating? Yeah. Oh, you're openly dating. Like, you yeah, yeah, no, I'm really? dating. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Are you dating like exclusively or are you like just going around seeing like. Oh, no. There? Exclusively. You're dating exclusively? Yeah, I'm, I'm dating, that. yeah. Are you in a relationship? Yeah. Oh, here That's dating exclusively, right? That I mean, now the lines are kind of blurred. Like I personally feel like lines I can, not blurred, nigga, I just can be lying. date, I can date exclusively, and until I specifically be, get asked to be in a relationship, I'm not in when I'm single. I think it's dating or not dating. Fuck exclusive, going really? around. If you dating, you're you in a relationship. Together. If you're not dating, you're talking to whoever you want. You're free. You. But you're still dating. You're going on dates. Going people? on dates don't mean you dating. You might go going on Going on date. dates don't mean you dating. Fuck no. It's literally in the word. How, not, what do you mean? Because going on a date, we just, we creating a moment. We creating a vibe to see if we going on date. I don't know you. We busted it. I don't know the real you. No, yeah, we not Yeah, but dating. that's why you're dating. Like, you're a date. You're going I on a date. Talking around. I guess it's semantics. Yeah, talking. Talking, talking around. around is mad funny. Talking around. Talking vibing, around. Vibing out. Great. Vibing out. That's what you do with friends. Like, vibe. I could talk around and vibe with no, my friends. Vibe is with the with the, the ox. Like, yo, I'm vibing with y'all. Like, <sighs> All right. So, you're in a relationship now. I think the last relationship that I knew of you to be in was <laughs> with Beans. Yeah. Um, so, and you kind of, like, weren't really with anybody publicly for a little minute. So what was it about mm -hmm. um, your girl now that had you cuff her up or That's my girl date now. her? That's my girl now. Oh, y'all yeah. back together? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's T. Shout out to Beans. Okay, I love that for you. Yeah. So we brought y'all back together. Um, For real, for real. That's why 
are you so open and willing to talk about it? Because it's somebody we know already. Yeah, I Is mean, this public? Re- regardless, it don't. It's not that it's not public. It's more of I don't go around like, hey, I got a girl. But okay. if you ask me, you try to shoot like, no, I got a girl. Okay, period. So what brought y'all back together? Um, for real, for real. Probably, you know what it was. We broke up, and I'll start dating around, mm-hmm. and I'm like, nah, these bitches crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with these. They just. I'm cool. And so I just was on the type tip, like, I'm not talking to nobody. Mm-hmm. And in that in that stage where I'm like, I'm not talking to nobody, we just, you know. I did hear you say in one of your streams, like, in you dating around, you kind of had the mindset of, like, they're not her. You said that. Yeah. So I guess that makes sense why y'all would get back together. You lucky she was willing to take you. Well, I don't know why y'all were mm-hmm. in the first place, but, like, it's a good thing that y'all was both. I didn't mean to say it like that, but it's a, nah, it's a good thing that y'all was both in the space to take mm-hmm. each other back and come back together. Yeah. So I love that for y'all. Um, now, when it comes to you making your content, like, um, with Uck City, there's a lot of girls that are involved in that. Mm-hmm. Um do you, how does that work with you dating? Like when you are in the house with all of these girls, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but. When I'm doing content or I'm doing something like involving girls, I won't, I won't kiss you. I won't fuck you. But when I, when that camera on, I'm doing whatever I want. Just on the type tip, like, okay, this Uck City, we just put $20,000 out. I'm going to flirt with these girls. Mm. And I'm going to turn up. We're going to drink. But no, I'm not going to crack none of them because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not seeing you. But, of course, that's an agreement that you make beforehand. So, yeah, oh, no. it's, it's just It's just more of a thing like th- this been happening. We can't stop this. This is definitely like we can't stop the $100,000 play. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Like, we can't stop that. Like this, this, this is what we like. We created this. This is an empire. We got LLC for it. We bring it in the bag for it. Mm-hmm. We got sponsors. Like we can't stop that. Not for a relationship. I'm not gonna say for a relationship, but we can't stop it. Mm-hmm. So how can we? How can we get this done? Right. I mean, like you said, it's not always about what you wouldn't do. It's what people want to see. So yeah. and that's what. I mean, even even see. then, like I like Uck City. I like doing it. No, no, no. I'm talking about the flirting aspect of it. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, I, I feel like I mean, all that's combined though. I feel like. All right, flirting, me gassing up the girls, me being with the girls, me flying the girls out, all that is something you sh- you you wouldn't traditionally do. But I'm not a regular nigga. Like a regular nigga don't do Uck City, so nigga don't be flirting. Mm. Like you ain't putting no money behind it. You flirting for free. <laughs> Stop flirting, nigga. I mean that is a word because niggas do out be out here flirting for, for free. free with whole girlfriends and wives and lying. So I'ma just tell Absolutely. the truth and just try to keep it as p as I can, and then. If that don't work, which is the reason we did separate the first time, mm-hmm. like it was just a mix up with content, but you know, I gotta keep it rolling while we still rolling, mm-hmm. so I could be cool with my family. Well, I'm happy that y'all are rolling and your content is rolling at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I know we are gonna wrap up soon, but I do want to know like what's coming up now. Like I saw somebody in your comments that was talking about um like you should tap more into the animation. Like they were asking about when the mm-hmm. animation channel is gonna come out. Is that something that you're planning on? Yes, 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 yes. That's I got a lot of projects. Like I got a note full of projects and all it takes is for me to say, all right, Lee, we're about to lock in on it. But that's definitely one of the projects I wanna take care of. I think I'm gonna take care of the animation channel and probably September when they go back to school just cause every story time I ever told we're just going to animate it and throw it on that channel. And that's just that's something it. that I'm willing to put money into. That's something that I'm willing to do. But it's going to take a long time. So after I turn up, I drop this music shit, I'm about to get the drug. So you're going to animate your whole your whole. I'm going to animate it with another animator. I got a team. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. I got a team okay. set up. And then I, is there a season three of Uck City? July. Oh, period. It's right around the corner. Everything paid for. So, okay. Can we get the location or no? Because last time it, you did it in, um, what, Colorado? Yeah. So, can we know, like, what you're doing it now or? Yes. Uh, there? We going to do either, we either going to do these two. We either going to do Malibu in L.A. Or we going to go out the country. One of them. Oh, yeah, period. One of them, one of them, I, hope, I hope the ladies got their passports ready. Yeah, we got the, we got the ladies. We checking for the passport. Ladies are already sealed in. Um, ideas already sealed in, trucks already sealed in. We just about to pick that location. 
Mm. And I got to get my camera crew. I got to get my guy, Kobe, back on board. Okay. Well, I'm very interested to see who you got. I'm not even going to hold you. I still have so much that I want to talk to you about, but I know that we do have to wrap up. So I hope that you can come back oh, for sure. so that we can do a part two for and sure. really touch on the things that we didn't. But before we wrap up, is there anything else that you would like to talk about, touch on, anything you have coming up that you want to? No, nah, man. Yo, just look up Rod, R-A-U-D, everywhere. And there you're going you gonna to fuck with it. Period. Well, thank it. you so much for coming. Wait, is G's your artist name? Yes. Yes, with the three. Yep. I meant to ask you about that. Yes, yes, yes. Did you do that intentionally to yes. separate? Separate for okay. me. Okay. It's separate. Okay, <laughs> I meant to ask you that earlier. I forgot to. People okay. like, I can't find you. They searching up Rod. I'm like, bro, since I really don't care about the music, that's not something we have to put under my main name. Like, let's yeah. just separate that. It's his own LLC. It's his own entity, and it's doing good by itself over there. That's yeah. just a little. I look at projects as businesses. Mm -hmm. Like City, just a business. Music, that's a business. And then we just got separated from me, though, so mm -hmm. it don't come back to me. It's that entrepreneur mindset. Oh, yeah, I yeah. really, I love that for you. We're definitely going to be staying tuned to see everything that you got coming. Okay. I'm going to take over so the summer. Again. Yes. I mean, we speaking into existence, and the, the foundation has already been built. So. Yes. All right, well, thank y'all for tuning in to Talk to the Town. Once again, it's your girl, Brianna. Right. And we'll see you next time. Bye.